what's going on everybody let's kind of do a little bit of a you know just go through some of the stocks on my watch list some of the stocks that i like to trade uh kind of get some looks from the daily perspective here i just made a video put it out on pltr guys go check that video out also give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well as join the discord that's down in the link below but let's just go ahead and run through a couple of these stocks and see what they've been doing uh netflix here i want to kind of give you guys a little bit of you know technical analysis breakdown give you guys some ideas on some plays and potential setups that we can take some stocks that look good long some stocks that look good short uh, my watch list has kind of been all over the place the last you know realistically the last two weeks I uh, haven't been putting as many plays in there just because of the market has been a lot more choppy and I really want a little bit more experienced traders to take advantage of those plays just due to the fact that if you're very new or inexperienced or have never seen this kind of price action before, it can get a little bit intimidating if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, definitely a scalper's market right now, not a swing trader's market for the short term. If you're a long-term investor, none of this applies to you if you plan on holding stocks longer than uh, two to three years. Um, but we're, we're, we're in a, a scalping uh, you know, in a scalper's market right now, long and short, things are getting bounces, things are, are getting dips, uh, levels of supply and demand are being broken and retested. So just starting off here with one of the stocks that's absolutely just been insane, that stock has been Netflix. So even though the triple Qs and the NASDAQ has continuously been going lower now, and we just did break through the weekly 20 MA um, demand zone, you know, this stock is you just put an insane move today, 31 points, five and a half percent close at six hundred and thirty four dollars. It's really hard to chase a stock like this that's up so high already when the overall market is going down. So I will throw it out there. Um, six forty thirteen. If we get that break to the top side, there is a potential for a scalp there. So just look for six forty thirteen. Obviously, rising support is going to be on the hourly um the hourly time frame here and that price is going to be this rising support down here at about 600 uh the 20 ma about 625 any dip into 625 i think should be bought on netflix depending on market strength let's just go back to the daily time frame here and take a look at amazon this stock has been getting absolutely destroyed uh you know recent highs going back just a couple of weeks 3547 currently trading at 3221 so what i want to look for on amazon is a breakdown flush below 3178 to the short side coming into a lot of supply here up above it's going to really need to get over 3450 uh, before it's really long biased but it might give you a potential scalp to the long side over 3260 it's going to have about 20 to 30 points worth of room if we take a look at coin why is this jumping all around on me? Uh, midnight, everything just reset. Okay, so coin, coin coming into a little bit of supply here at 242. Coin really needs to get over. I mean, you're going to have an area of opportunity to scalp over 242.20. You might have two to three points here to 244.70, but look for an area of rejection here. Any close over 245 uh, has room to 248. If we take a look at SP. C E. This stock has been, you know, coming off of those highs here, 5731. Really shot down, been consolidating sideways. Looks lower. If we do start to test this bottom channel here at 2185, could get hit to the downside as well. Facebook, another stock that has just been absolutely getting uh destroyed here in this little bit of correction here. So kind of in the middle of the channel here, we do need to reclaim the five uh daily. M A before I want to get super bullish on it. That price is going to be 336 to the top side. You potentially are going to have anywhere from five to six points there. If we do lose 326, we could back test support here at 323. And any close below 323 has room to the downside. Apple stock got a little bit of a bounce today, as did a lot of stocks in the tech sector here. So we're looking at a little bit of a uh, you know a mid channel here in between so that's the thing a lot of these stocks are in between ranges and anytime stocks are in between channels in between you know a, a, a range um, you're going to get bounces and you're going to get dips and they really don't go anywhere so what we're really looking for here is any kind of break over 142.31 that potentially is going to give you about a point move there but you do have a little bit of supply here about a point away Obviously, support is going to be down here at 138.30. Anything below 138.30 looks lower. If we take a look at Boeing, 
chart looks like an absolute disaster here. So much supply ahead, a lot of a lot of demand below. Um, really do not want to get involved in Boeing at this current time. Netflix, we already spoke about that. Amazon, we already spoke about that. Uh, Peloton as well. Just uh, rejected here at the 128.09 level has come down. Looks like we're forming a little bit of a double bottom. So can we get a little bit of an oversold bounce around this $80 level? That's what I would be looking for here. Look for a bounce between $80 to $82. Um, could give you potentially two, uh, two to four, two to five points on that bounce. But we need to see what we do when we come into this supply zone here at about 88.52. Right now, I want to see, is this a double bottom or do, does the market continue weakness? Any close below $80.50, this thing could flush and go lower. Zoom as well has not been doing anything. We've tested this bottom channel now one, two, three, four, five times here. Anything below Zoom on 253.41 looks lower to me. A lot of uh, supply ahead that it needs to work through. Nothing on Zoom to the top side, more so to the bottom. Take a look at skills. This stock has been getting destroyed. So if we look at skills here, $8.57. This is an absolute all-time low. Skills is one of the stocks that I really like for the long term. Just we need to figure out where this stock is going to bottom out. I had skills a buy anything with a 10 and a nine in front of it. And now we have an eight. So for all you guys are looking to swing or currently swinging skills, just kind of bear with this stock. The market is going to need to turn around here. Obviously we need to get back up over this 50 uh, moving average here at around 1150, a little bit ways away as we do have the five, 10 and 20 uh, supplies ahead. What I'm looking for here on skills, is a daily close over a previous day's high. So until we get that, I wouldn't really add to your position anymore just because we don't know how much lower this stock can go. Until we start getting those closes above previous day's highs, I would start to look further into this stock. Look, same thing with Chewy here. We have come down to the bottom uh, channel here. This is a double bottom here going back to 512. We touch it again. If we can confirm this to the downside below 63.38, this could push lower. However, I would like to see it reclaim this linear regression channel here and then reclaim the five day moving average at around $66. I think between $66, you have room to 69 for a potential trade. DraftKings looks lower one, two, three, four days here. If DraftKings starts to lose this whole bottom channel here between 48 and 48.75, this could push down back into the 46s. To the top side on DraftKings, what we're looking for is really a close over $50.62. Over $50.50, let's call it 50 cents for the sake of the video. It does have about a point and a half room to the upside to the mid 51s. Twitter, nothing really going on on Twitter. Twitter needs to get above $60.83. I think if we can get over 63, over 60.83, you are going to have room to 61.92. So a potential scalp long there. AMC has tested this channel and been holding this whole range here. You can see we've tested it two times here. If AMC uh, starts a building below 36.16. This is going to get hit here. Potential price target of 32. So just keep that in mind to the short side. Nothing on AMC to the long side. Snapchat kind of looks the same here. Uh, kind of just stuck in the middle of a range. Potential scalp over $74. $74 could come to 74.75. So only 75 cents worth of room. But look for Snapchat to close over this 50. Uh, moving average here if we can get above this supply that's when it's going to really have room to work back to 76 this is a bigger trade here over 74 75 is a trade i would like to take uh visa not really doing anything kind of same thing here just been absolutely hammered came up to the 50 day moving average got rejected again to me visa looks lower i'm looking at it more so to the short side anything below 224 I would look to short this potential price target 220, so about four points there. NVIDIA had a nice bounce along with a lot of other tech stocks today. Let's look at NVIDIA long over 206.50. 
potential price target 20937 look for rejection here we really need to get above 211 which is a 50 day moving average before we want to get long uh, to the short side, let's look at 198.41. Support is going to be around 195. So you have room to the long side and to the top side. Mark these level, guys. I know I'm going a little fast, but just try to keep up. MVIS looks lower, so a little bit of a bounce today here. Um, MVIS, let's look at it over $11.19 potential price target 1160 and $12.12 .12. to the short side let's look for MVIS to lose 1023 and let's ride that back down to the downside Starbucks um, for me support is going to be at 109.96 Starbucks I'm looking at to the long side over 111.50 over 111.50 could take us to 112.45 potential scalp trade there. I hope that kind of helps, guys. Right now, futures down 115 points. So let's see. Looks like we're going to get a little bit of a gap down open. Hopefully, that gap down gets bought and we can sort of crawl back up, which would be nice. I would rather have a gap down open for stocks to go higher than have a gap up, sell them into supply, and fade lower. Um, until next time, guys, I will see you guys all in the Discord tomorrow.